Hey guys, welcome to our channel. So today we are going to be reviewing and trying to assemble this U Gears mechanical model. Um, this is the combination lock. It does have its own YouTube video for how to put it together and stuff, but we're not going to watch that because we just want to wing it. So essentially this does say that it does not need any tools. It is 14 plus. There is English and many other language versions. So we're just going to, yeah, take a look at it. So there's cellophane and now there's more cellophane. Basically everything is wrapped in cellophane. This is fun. All right. And a lot of extra cardboard space for something that we don't need. I love overpackaging. Yay. All right. So over here. So this is basically how it comes, just two sheets of wooden uh, scoreboards. It's got all the pieces, and by the looks of it, some of them are numbered. And this, this is the combination lock, so it is an easy puzzle compared to some of the other ones that they offer. And we did get this in a local hobby shop here in Grand Prairie, where we live. And it's essentially just help, it comes with toothpicks. <laughs> so that's really interesting that it comes with single wrapped, quite a few toothpicks. This is slightly comical to me, but I guess that's probably what's gonna help us hold everything together without any glue. So, oh, I want this. Oh, nice, some, some 240 grit sandpaper. Cool. And we've got this lovely instruction manual that I'm gonna open backwards, apparently. All right, so it is showing that we will need an X-Acto knife. Now, it did say no tools required, so I'm a little, it's a little unexpected. Expected. I mean, I kind of half expected it, but that's okay. So this is what the combination lock should look like at the end of it. And when you put the proper combination in, you actually do have a little space to put stuff in, which is kind of cool. So I guess we should probably take a second and go find ourselves an X-Acto knife. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. We went ahead and found ourselves a, an X-Acto knife just so that we can cut off any of the ends of the toothpicks that are sharp. Um, so first, I guess we're just going to go ahead and punch all of these parts out. Now, it does say to be careful not to break any pieces, and if it's really stuck, just to cut it a little bit. Oh, these are really hard. Do it in the camera. Ooh, it's pretty easy to I mean, a little bit easier than I expected, but this piece is scary to me. These are really thick material, too. Oh, no. All right. And with us saying to be careful not to break the pieces, Seven went ahead and pushed a little too hard on this piece right here. Um, yeah, I think it was this piece. No, it's this one. No, it was this one. <laughs> okay, so he did break it in half. Um, we did go ahead and just use a little bit of Gorilla wood glue in a hope so you can sort of see right where he broke it right here and right there. <laughs> So hopefully it still works, but oh well, we're gonna give it a try. If all else fails, it's our first time doing one of these puzzles, so. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Seven's just going crazy over here. He's punching out all the pieces like a champ, and I'm here. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here, have the tiny board, and I've got like six pieces. <laughs> there you have it there's our umpteen million and I think this did say how many pieces it actually was but I can't remember and I can't find it so you know all right Now, so these are these fun little like serrated looking pieces. So I don't know if you can tell, but it actually looks like it is, I'm trying to get my camera to focus, there we go. It looks like it's serrated, almost like there's supposed to be a screw go in there or a bolt. Hmm. So, yeah. So. So the next page does say that we have to cut four of the um, toothpicks. Just cut the tips off right from where it starts to taper down into the point. Um, all right, so it does look mm -hmm. like we're gonna need all of these fun pieces that honestly kind of looks like turtles, which is great. I love turtles. So just the tips? <laughs> yeah, just the tips. Just the tips. <laughs> okay, so I picked, so there's like these other pieces that also have like that turtley shape, but they're, as you can see, much bigger. So I'm going to leave those out for now. And uh, one more. So it looks like we're supposed to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Six, eight, nine. So it looks like we have them all. Now, if I recall, one of these is the pieces that Seven already broke. Uh, yeah, right here, this one. So I think strategically, just because I know that this is already weakened from us snapping it in half, I'm gonna probably put it right in the center. So this is theoretically how it is supposed to go. And this is what's going to create like the cylinder where you can stash stuff inside or what well, and I should say.
the part where the combination lock sort of locks into like this just is just like a tumbler. Yeah, this is like the tumbler. Oh, look at you, smart cookie, doing it the backwards way. Mm -hmm. I love it. All right, so the status update. As we were trying to get one of the toothpicks through, so most of them are already through, like right to this last one. Um, it actually broke right in half, right here. So we went ahead and pulled it out just because we couldn't actually get it any further. And we're just gonna try and replace it now that it's mostly put together. We only have one piece left to put in. <laughs> Um, as you can see, we broke another one, but luckily we were able to get it all the way through and we're able to salvage it. So I actually just snapped that guy right off and yeah, these snap off really easily. And then you have the sandpaper. Um, that's wrong. Go ahead. You should not, should not have any of those. Well, you have the sandpaper. Right. That's not. So as I was saying, <laughs> I'm just going to continue to break these off. Actually, I need an exacto knife to break them off. They break off 
pretty smoothly with your fingers. Now there is little like burrs. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if I can get my camera to focus. There we go. So you can sort of see that there's burrs. And so that's why we have the sandpaper. Just to smooth those out. And this is 240 grit, so it'll take it down pretty quickly. And just like that, nice and smooth. And there's our tumbler. So you really have to kind of like pry it to get it to line up. And it does fit pretty snugly once it's lined. There we go. All right. Wow, that fits together really well. Okay, so I love that this has giant exclamation points in bright red to let you know that if you don't do it right, you're going to mess it up. <laughs> so whatever you want the code to be, this is how you make the code. So essentially this notch is going to be one of the numbers. <coughs> so, because in this household our favorite number is seven, <laughs> we are going to do seven two seven, and that is our wedding anniversary, as well as our favorite number. So the first one's going to be a seven. So we got to attach this like this onto the seven. So that'll create our first number, and then the two. Now these can be backwards, so you really want to make sure that they're right side up. And then we're going to do seven again. And I have it backwards, there we go.
So I just remembered that it actually comes with this little handle stick, basically, so that you can wax pieces when they're too hard to put together. Huh. And we've been struggling this whole time with these darn toothpicks and didn't even realize that
Okay, so we just need to line up our numbers. I think we had lined up at some point, but we've both been spinning this and playing with it, so. A little bit difficult to turn, but we also didn't wax it, so that's kind of on us. there. And then your combination up so you should have a nice channel. And then with any luck If you'd like to see more puzzles like this, um, give us a comment, subscribe, don't forget to ring that bell, and of course, like it, and uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Bye!